Hey guys, Brandon with Whiskey River. It's Whiskey River Weekly. We're coming at you with a bunch of bangers of auctions lately. And uh, hope you're not complaining. Hope you're not upset with the cool stuff we've been auctioning. I've got an auction laid out here on this table right now. We're getting it on the computer so that it can be uploaded to the auction site. And I was like, you know what? We should do Whiskey River Weekly showing off this stuff and uh, talking about some other things. So here we go. I've got updates on auction. I've got some updates on handles and I have some updates on helps tool stuff. So stick around. This is the auction. The auction is, I don't know, it's a little bit higher of uh, than just being project axes. There's some assembled axes. There's some vintage axe works restored axes. We got more of these in, which are super exciting. Some new old stock red tang uh, in the box, new in box, half round smooth files. The customers who've been around for a while remember those, but that's a cool piece of history from the 1950s. Uh, we got a Black Raven that I posted on Instagram, shared that a little bit. Uh, pile, pile of Tassies. This is a little bitty high test right here. Boy's Axe Eye. Super rare piece. I've never had one of these in stock, which is awesome. Um, and we got some hung axes that have been restored and sharpened. Really, really nice uh, selection of users there. And... Last and certainly not least, we have some old axe invoices, axe paperwork, stuff that's axe related. Um, Armstrong Hardware Company, Simmons Hardware Company, and these are orders that they've put in uh, to axe companies to get them or, you know, correspondence back and forth. Here's a handle price sheet from Hartwell Handles. Uh, let's see, from 1929. Most of these are pre-World War II. And then there are a decent amount that are um, from like right at the turn of the century, 1900-ish. Uh, so um, yeah, photograph of this cool guy. The Clint Walker, a portrait of an unknown man from MCA TV. So these are gonna be up for auction. So if you're looking for something like frame ham in your, uh, in your shop or in your house, that's ax related. There we go, we got those. So, but. Yeah, lots and lots of tassies, tassie patterns, thick profile. It's not stuff you come across every day in the U.S. Uh, and if you do have it available, you're going to have to pay to import it. So this is the one I was looking for. Big flat head. Great profile. So we don't do like tass uh, uh, auctions with piles and piles of tassies that often. And here it is. So. The, the updates for Council Tool are, we got the five pound splitter back in stock. That's the one on the 36 inch and the one on the 28 inch handle. Both of those are available on the website. The uh, universal, universal high density plastic uh, mask fits those as well as the large uh, universal mask uh, out of leather. We have those in Veg Fan and Crazy Horse. So, and then the update is on the handles. I hadn't really talked much about it. I just dropped a video on them, but definitely look uh, in the heritage handle section at the 20S and 20SBA, and then the 24S and the 24SBA. Both of those are straight Fuller's Axe handles with either boy's axe eyes for the SBA, small, straight boy's axe is what that stands for, or just full-sized eye, which is the S. So that's it. That's my weekly updates. Uh, check out the auction site. We do have an uh, auction ending uh, tomorrow on there of a selection of vintage axes and things. And then this one will be live uh, today. So check that out and uh, be good, stay sharp, and uh, see you next week.